To create the grid lines for a project, first make sure you're in level one floor plans. So in the browser window, double click on level one, move over to the left to the tool tray. In the basics tray, click on it, choose the grid tool. Move over to the drawing window and just like drawing a line in AutoCAD, uh, click for a starting point, drag it up. You'll notice in Revit that as you drag, um, it will automatically snap to an orthogonal uh, position, left, right, up, down. Click uh, the second point to finish the grid line. Uh, we can zoom in. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the make grid tool. We can change the name of the grid by hovering over it, double clicking on the grid head, and you can change the name. I'm going to click in white space to get out of that. The checkbox above the grid head is its visibility. Um, this is how you can make it disappear on that end. We can zoom down to the bottom and we can make it visible on the bottom as well. This break icon um, allows you to jog the grid head over to the left or right. You can drag the individual joints uh, to move it into uh, position. To make multiple copies of the grid line, hover and select it, move up to copy in your tools at the top, and just like making a copy in AutoCAD, click the first point, drag it over to the distance you want, or you can type in the distance directly. Unlike AutoCAD, the default units uh, in Revit are feet, not inches. So if I type 25, it will move it over 25 feet. If I type 25 space 6, it will move it over 25 feet 6 inches. Hit enter. Uh, a faster way to make a bunch of copies is we're going to click in white space, uh, hover and select the item or the grid line you want to make equal copies of. Um, this time choose array. You'll notice uh, in the options bar here it will give you different options for whatever tool you select. Uh, make sure that group and associate is not checked because that's really annoying. Um, enter the number of copies uh, you want to end up with including the one you selected. Keep it and move to second. Uh, click a starting point, bring it over, or type in the distance, um, and it's created the copies for you. Notice Revit does not let you duplicate uh, the names, so it automatically uh, has changed the names as it's copied them out. Um, you can uh, duplicate this process for the grid lines running in the other direction. Go to the tool tray, choose grid, you're going to come down, click a starting point, drag it over, click a finish point, I'm going to zoom in, I want the grid head to appear on this side, I'm going to escape a couple times, I'm going to uh, hover and select, double click on the head to change its name, this time running the horizontal direction I want to change the, the grids to numbers, click in white space, i um, going to array it up, so I chose the grid line, choose array, number of copies, five. This time we're going to space it out 20 feet. And it's given me those grid lines. To stretch these um, vertical grid lines up, uh, to make them longer or, or to shrink them, uh, hover and select one. And you can grab the circle icon. Notice the padlock um, that appears also when you grab this tool. Uh, it's telling you that all of the grid heads that are lined up with this grid head are constrained to it. So if you click on that circle, drag it up, they all move with it. Click again to finish. You can click the padlock to unlock it, to unconstrain it from the other grids. You can move it individually. Um, if you grab and move it down, it will automatically show you when it's aligned. Um, if you realign it with the rest of the grid heads, it locks it again. Uh, click drag it up and they are now spaced uh, where you want them.